Hello friends! Welcome to my knitting podcast, Muddy Boots Maker. My name is Amy and my channel is all about making everything and anything. I'm a knitter, I'm a sewer and I run a small business here on Jar Jar Warren Country in Victoria, Australia. And I also post videos of our life on our homestead and the food and the flowers that we grow on our farm and the animals that we care for. If you are new, you won't realize, but I'm actually in a different spot today. I am in Zigo Zago's studio here, the beautiful yarn shop we have here in Castlemaine. And Pammy is the owner of this lovely shop. And don't you just love the background that I have today? Oh my, if I owned all of that yarn, yay, that would be fun. <laughs> so I am shooting here in a different spot to show you some of Pammy's yarns, but also it's a bit of a different episode. I have a giveaway. I have reached over 1000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for your beautiful support of my little channel here. And we have a giveaway in conjunction with Zigo Zago and also some specials for you. So make sure you stick around to the end of this podcast where I will share all the details with you. It has been a while since I have recorded a podcast. I recently did Vlogtober and that was lots of fun and you will have seen a couple of teeny tiny doll hats that I knitted and completed for Hazel, my youngest daughter's birthday. She turned 10. Um, but I haven't got any more finished objects and I don't have the hats with me here. So I shall pop a picture of the hats up so you can see them. What I do have here is my dress. And I have almost finished the skirt part of the dress. This is the house dressing. And I will put on the screen everything that I mentioned here and I will also link everything below. So I get to stand up and show you. So here we have it in all its glory. Isn't she just beautiful? I'm so excited about this dress. Um, it is on the large size. I took it off the needles to have a try and it is too big. So I will be popping it back on the needles and doing another round of decreases because it, it comes up about this high and it's just a bit too big for my, above my waist area. But that is a huge amount of knitting there and I'm so, so pleased to have that done. So I have started the top of the dress and it is top down and is like a um, scoop necked, sort of boat neck, but it comes down, gathers a little bit or falls a little bit at the front. Um, I've popped it on two needles to try and have um, a try of it, but I need to pop another needle um, on here to get it to the right width so I can have a have a measure of it and see whether I've done enough increasing. And I have pretty much just been working on this dress up until last week when I got the colour work fever and I just had to cast on another project. And it is the Zyma um, sweater. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Zyma, that is what it's called. Great, so this is the Zyma um, sweater. I will pop a picture of it up on the screen. And these are the beautiful colors that I am making it in. I got these yarns, I don't have any of the labels here. These are the Forge yarns by, I will put it on the screen. I purchased these at the Pearl Box 
And this yarn is, it is so delicious. It is so, so lovely. I'm thoroughly enjoying knitting up color work in worsted weight. It is going so fast. Um, I have maybe 10 more rounds of the color work yoke and then I will split for the sleeves. So um, it's, it's really, really lovely. I'm liking the way the colors are turning out. Let me show it to you closer. And here are the balls. It's different doing this setup where I've got a table in front of me. It's nice to be able to put everything on the table though. So amazingly, that is all I am working on at the moment. I don't have a huge amount of projects like I normally do. If you've been following my podcast from the beginning, you will know that I began this podcast because I had about... 22 or 25 projects 25 whips was huge and my aim for the podcast was to get that down was to finish a whole lot of projects and to frog some as well which I ended up doing and now I'm down to I think I have four or five going at the moment and that is pretty good but I haven't been working on the other two or three projects that I have. So I'm just showing you today what I've been working on. Just gonna have a drink of my tea. I made some lemongrass, nettle and echinacea tea and it's very nice. So wow you're probably thinking <laughs> my podcast is over now because I've shown you all the projects that I'm working on and really I have not a huge amount to say about the projects other than what I have said already. I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. I'm getting a little bit of um, blue coming off on my hands with um, this yarn and I'm a tiny bit worried that it might run when I go to block this sweater so if you have any tips regarding this let me know because I do not want my blue to run into the cream or the mustard or any of it really but yeah those lighter colors so let me know below if you have any tips on that I've also been trying to finish off some sewing projects and I have one here with me today that I've been slowly hand sewing the binding on. And it is this, oh, it's a bit clattery on the table. It is this beautiful quilt that I made a while ago. So it's just a little lap quilt and it's just got the check fabric on the back and I'm basically just going around and doing the hand stitching And I'm really enjoying doing the hand stitching on this beautiful quilt but when it gets hotter which it's not it's not getting hot so I put up a video last week saying how spring had finally sprung we are back in winter again <laughs> we are back to wearing our woolen beanies and our sweaters it is crazy weather and we're looking at having a high of 22 over the weekend, but then going back down to 15 degrees Celsius again. And it, that's, it's quite cold and bitey out there. I have forgotten to mention what I am wearing today, which is novel. I didn't write that down on my list. So of course I forgot. I am wearing my Son Ray by Jennifer Steingass. And it is beautiful. I am knitting it in, I, 
I have knitted it in Bendigo Woolen Mills Classic 5 Ply and it is one of my favorite sweaters to wear. So I'm going to get on with showing you some of the wonderful goodies here at Zigo Zago. And in front of me are some magazines at the moment. One of them is Eye Me Off. And I am thinking I might have to take it home. It is the Making um, Magazine, issue number 14. And there are a few goodies in here that I would love to make. They've also got some mending in here too. It's so lovely. I like this bag. Oh, it's on the back here. Look, there it is. Yeah, there's some beautiful things in this book. Look at those mitts. Look at the cute little booty cat. That's so cute. And we have the Pom Pom Magazine. This is number 43. It's called Horizon. And I am sure there are a huge amount of goodies in here. Starting off with this shawl. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at this one. That is just lovely. I'll try and hide the pattern there. Lovely. So Pammy has, looks like there's two copies left here. So if you want that, you better get in quickly. There's also, Pammy also has some lovely Japanese knitting um, books and magazines. They are just so, so very beautiful. Here's one pattern that is just super lovely. Beautiful. So there's two copies of those here too. I will take you through the studio and show you some of the yarn and some of the beautiful items that Pammy has hand knitted and the pattern and the yarn that she has used. So I will pop that on the screen when I show it. So here we have a beautiful shawl. This one is the Twisted Cables Shawl by West Knit. Um, it is in Doris DK and B and B B and B Lee Goro's Kid Silk. I will put it on the screen. And it is just beautiful. That's a lovely pattern by Stephen West. I'm not sure what the pattern is on this beautiful number here, but it looks like it is just in the um, mohair and it is just beautiful. Okay, here we have another shawl. I'm not sure what the shawl is. If I figure it out, I will put it on the screen. Um, but we have this beautiful cardigan and I think this is a, a, a Isabel Kramer um, cardigan. I will also put the name on the screen and the yarn that it is knitted in. It's in a kid silk. It's beautiful. This is so soft up here. This shawl is just so lovely. Okay, I've decided to come in a bit closer here so you can see this shawl here. This is another Isabel Kramer shawl. I will put the name of the shawl <laughs> below I'm on the screen. It is beautiful. And this is knit in llama tweed. And the llama tweed is just so soft. It is just so beautiful. So this llama tweed is on sale. So I have knit a beautiful cardigan in this yarn and I will put a picture up right now of it. It is just so soft and beautiful. I highly recommend and it is on sale at the moment. So take advantage of that. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the colors in the llama tweed that is on sale. So here's the label. And it is a Karma Rose yarn. And this is a beautiful green. This 
There's also this lovely peachy pinky colour. There's this neutral creamy beigey colour with the flex and I have a friend who's knitted a cardigan out of this colour. It is just lovely on her. There's also this black with the lighter flex which I really really like. There's one more colour that I can see here and it is this brownie colour. It's coming out a little bit like brighter than it looks on in real life. This yarn is just so so soft. Oh my goodness. So I should mention the ingredients in this yarn. So it is 40% llama, 40% virgin wool and 20% Donegal. Okay? And it is hugely warm. Like when I wear my cardigan, I don't have to wear much underneath. Like I just wear my a dress and then my cardigan over the top and I'm super warm in the middle of winter and it is just pure beauty. I just found another color. Is this nice sort of gray green? Okay, so they are the colors of this beautiful llama tweed and they are on sale. So head over there. It is they are so soft. It is so beautiful to knit with. I thoroughly enjoyed knitting with this yarn. And this shawl is just beautiful. Pammy also has some new linen yarn in and it is also by Karma Rose. These two are the blues. So the light blue is number 408 and the dark blue is 432. They're the color numbers. Then there is a cream which is number 404 and a sort of sea green which is 410. There are two browns, a dark, well a brown and then this sort of latte color, I guess. So the brown is number 418 and the caramel is 420. And then my favorite are the pinks. There is this beautiful deep dusty pink and then a light dusty pink. The light one is number 412 and the dark is 414. And they are beautiful and I might just have to put in an order of these. I'd love to have another summer top in one of these colors. So Pammy has a great way of putting colors together. And if you don't follow her on Instagram, you should go over and follow her there. It's Zigo Zago Knits. I will link it below. Um, but I'm just pulling off random colors <laughs> that sort of go together and um, just show you a few of the hand dyers that um, Pammy has in the store. So these are the Totley Matin yarns. I will pop them on the screen. So there are an array of colors and I thought these kind of looked nice together. <laughs> There are also some very sort of moody colors yarns as well. These two are by Walk. And this one is um, Queen Fiber. Two more Walk yarns. These are gorgeous colors. This one has some beautiful colors in it. 
just lovely. And there are many, many more beautiful yarns behind me and on the wall over there and on the wall over there and on the wall over there. <laughs> so many beautiful yarns. So there's plenty to find here at Zigo Zago. There are some sale yarns down here as well. There are lots of different yarns in here and some that Pammy has actually dyed herself. Pammy loves pinks, so there's always some good pinks in the shop. But there's some beautiful, beautiful colors here that Pammy has dyed herself. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Pammy also has a few Malabrigo yarns, and she also has um, some Cascade yarns as well. Pammy also has a beautiful range of this very, very soft snuffug. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Um, this is also by Karma Rose and these are very popular. I know Pammy sells quite a few of these when she does markets. They are so soft. It's like a cloud. Yum. And they smell. They smell delicious too. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that little peruse through Zigo Zago's yarn here. There is a lot more that I have not showed you. A huge amount of books as well. There are progress keepers and all sorts of knitting accessories. But now I think it is time to get to the specials and the giveaway. So first up, I'm offering the first 10 people that purchase something from the Zigo Zago shop will get an organic cotton handkerchief from my new range of hankies. And all you need to do to get this is be the first 10 people to add one of these to your cart when you are shopping at Zigo Zago. Then you are to pop this coupon code below into the discount code section and you will get one of these for free. And now to the lovely giveaway. You have the chance to win one of three prizes. All you need to do to enter is comment below. Let me know how you are and what you're knitting at the moment and anything else you'd like to share with me. Also, if you could subscribe to my channel and hit that like button, that would be super great. And if you mention my podcast over on Instagram, you will get a double entry into the giveaway. So I will give you plenty of time to enter this giveaway and I will be drawing all three winners on my first Vlogmas video. So December the 1st. And these are the three lots of prizes you get to win. So first prize is this beautiful yarn by Pammy. And a lovely lavender sachet that I have hand printed with fig leaves and popped homegrown lavender in there from our farm. That is prize number one. Prize number two is a lovely organic cotton handkerchief of beautiful swallows with a mini skein from Zigo Zago. And prize number three is another beautiful mini skein by Pammy and one of my pocket belts. This pocket belt has um, got Liberty fabrics on it. And these are my favorite things to wear when I don't have pockets in my outfits, but also to pop on when I'm gardening or foraging. And you can pop lots of items in these belts. I also have a huge range of these pocket belts available on my shop, in my shop. Along with all those new handkerchief designs. So I've made quite a mess here on the table. <laughs> so they are the three prizes that you can win when you enter this giveaway. 
I also wanted to say a big, huge thank you to everyone for supporting me here on my channel. It's been such a pleasure to bring you all these videos for just a month over a year now, I think. And it's just a joy to hear from you and know that my podcasts make you a little bit happier and bring a little bit of joy to your days. So it is getting quite later in the day now and I am looking forward to going home and knitting on, ooh, <laughs> on this sweater. Thank you all so much. Please enjoy some more footage of Pammy's shop and her beautiful garden. And I will see you on the 1st of December when I draw the giveaway and I start Vlogmas. I'm so excited for Vlogmas. There will probably be one more video before Vlogmas though because I can't help but put some footage of my beautiful spring garden and the changes that are happening out there. It is so lovely. And right now I am just surrounded by beautiful bird sounds in this studio that is in the garden here. It is just so very lovely. So enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you next week. Bye my friends. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm back. I just wanted to say a huge thank you in advance to those that do support Pammy and her little yarn shop. It is really hard at the moment for small businesses and every little bit counts. Even just following her on Instagram and liking and sharing her posts, that just helps so much. And look, I've just noticed there's more colors up here in the llama tweed. There's more. Look at this blue. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm going now. Bye. Thank you.